Over the many years of producing the Dime Store Fisherman, we've come to know the people of the North Superior shoreline well. Our adventures have taken us to communities along the North Superior on a number of occasions. We find the way of life in this area of the country to be exhilarating. People here live outdoors. When we found out we would be attending Red Rock, Ontario during the first weekend of June to experience firsthand what the Red Rock Fishing Game Lake Trout Fishing Derby is all about, it's fair to say we were very excited. On this adventure, we traveled to the great province of Ontario, Canada. We arrived at the City of Thunder Bay International Airport, where we were met by the Mayor of Red Rock, Mr. Gary Nelson. We then drove with the Mayor 100 kilometers east of Thunder Bay on the 1117 Highway until we reached the junction for Highway 628. Just a few minutes from the junction is the town of Red Rock, which is situated on the shores of Nipigon Bay on Lake Superior. Named for the large red cuesta near Red Rock, the immediate surrounding region provides the visitor remarkable panorama highlighted by rocky cliffs, fertile forests, and dazzling rivers. Upon arriving in Red Rock, Mayor Nelson took us for a scenic drive around the town. Residential streets here are tidy, cozy, and definitely blend in with the surrounding hills. Old growth trees that line the town streets provide canopies that lend to a feeling of safe haven. Mayor Nelson then took us to one of the special area landmarks that also would serve as our home base during our time in the community. We enjoyed a wonderful dinner with Mayor Nelson, town council and friends. Everyone had a chance to share stories while getting to know one another. The Red Rock Inn was reportedly constructed between 1937 and 1939. In July of 1940, the area served as a home to a prisoner of war camp known as Camp R. As in so many Canadian communities, forestry was a primary industry and employer from the outset in Red Rock. It's reported that in 1936, the Lake Sulfite Pulp Company purchased property which includes the present town site for the construction of a paper mill. Since its inception, Volunteers in Red Rock have always played an important role in the town's vitality and growth. We witness beautification efforts ongoing in the town. Economic development has also become a priority here. In June of 1994, the Red Rock Marina was officially open. Since, proud citizens and visitors have been able to enjoy the facility. The marina features the ability to dock 82 vessels with electrical and potable water outlets on all the docks. There are fuel up and sewage pump out services during operating season. The township of Red Rock is building a new marina building and interpretive center that will be 6,000 square feet and have laundry and shower facilities for boaters, a restaurant, two retail spaces, multi-purpose room for conferences and the interpretive center. The building will have four viewing decks on each corner to overlook the magnificence of Lake Superior. During the 15th annual Lake Trout Fishing Derby, the Red Rock Marina was jumping. Boats came in hoping they had the big lake trout to boast about. The Fish and Game Club had an electrifying atmosphere. Anglers and residents enjoyed the fish fry while prizes were awarded and the big fish winner was announced. Well, now I'm here with somebody very special. This is Mr. Corey Forche, and he's participated at the 15th annual Red Rock Lake Trail Fishing Derby here on Lake Superior. We're at the Red Rock Fish and Game Club. And, buddy, you caught a whopper of a fish. Tell us about it. Yeah, 23 pounds. Uh, the fight was about 15 minutes long. Uh, it saw the boat twice, ran twice, each about 80 feet or so. And uh, finally, we landed it. We want you to come on out and give the 16th annual Red Rock Lake Trail Fishing Derby here on Lake Superior a try. Corey Forche did from Dorian, Ontario. He got the big fish. You can do it too. When we went out on Lake Superior, we did so with the Boudreaux team. Our captain Steve Boudreaux and his uncle Marcel showed us some of their favorite spots and shared some of their big fish stories. Marcel has been fishing the area for many years and was happy to pass on some of his knowledge and experience. The large islands with rocky cliffs and stunning clear water provide some of the most spectacular scenery this great country has to offer. While in the area, we had the opportunity to fish with our friend Marcel Boudreau on the world-famous Nipigon River for its legendary Salvalinus fontanalis, commonly referred to 
is Eastern Brook Trout, Brookie, or known by many in its range as the Speckled Trout or Speck. Marcel took us to fishing holes that anglers only dream about. This river claims to be the world's longest standing angler record. Dr. W.J. Cook caught a 31-inch, 14.5-pound speck in July of 1915. We came to this river with the famous family Boudreaux in order to see if we could possibly see a fish even close to that mammoth. Marcel told us stories of his brother Givan's exploits in the back country while hunting the speck. Givan is Steve's father and meant everything to the community of Red Rock. He's been memorialized with the Red Rock Arena named in his honor. Coming here meant concentration and focus. When friends pass on stories of their loved ones, we're inspired. Here we go, right up into the rapids, right where Marcel said this trout was gonna be. And I have every reason to believe it's a speckled trout. And I'm using the bionic blade. And man alive, the action just cast it. And look at this fish. Look at this fish, what a beauty. What a beauty on the dime store. Fisherman, gorgeous speckled trout. Look at the color on that fish. Man alive, great job, Marcel. He's got that net and that alligator's got him. Go ahead, buddy. There we go, there we go. Good work. Look at that beautiful, beautiful speckled trout and the color on that fish. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful fish. Back in the water. Oh, hang on, honey. And there he goes. Back for a safe live release. Amazing action. During our stay, we had a chance to have a mouth-watering meal at our friend Steve's place. We'd like to take this chance to thank you, Steve, for your friendship and the time you took with us to go fishing. Marcel will always have a special place in the hearts of people who know him. We want to thank you, sir, for the time and the experience you freely shared with us. We have memories from our time together that will last us the rest of our lives. Anyone who has driven Lake Superior's northern shoreline knows it to be a breathtaking experience. For hereafter, every time we drive past the junction at Highway 628, the Dime Store Fisherman will always think of Red Rock and remember the great people with the spirit of the Great Lake.